cars only at the end of the stage, and they're going to be pulling out as other cars are pulling in all over the top of each other. Hey, you're right on the assist. I think Keselowski's going to lap down. He's got trouble. He's either down a cylinder right in front of your leader going to lap down right here, or he can't shift something with the transaxle. He's got trouble. There's your leader going around him. Very slow down the straightaways. Brad Kay making his 500th career start for what is now RFK Racing. And he had a tire issue in practice with the left rear. Yep. Um, didn't really know what it was. I don't know if he's not feeling something, but definitely Keselowski and the six having trouble. But as Larry pointed out, that will be a benefit to Ryan Blaney Absolutely. because it means Keselowski can't pit with the lead lap cars and Blaney will have an easy exit with nobody right in front of him. That's why I was trying to get that out as soon as I could. I was, I knew we were running out of time and I saw Bush catching him. That's huge for Blaney. Oh. Laney and Hamlin, second, third. And uh, Ty Dillon just going a lap down, who's pitted right in front of Laney as well. That's all working out good for Blaney, considering well, how is. bad it looked at the beginning. So when you lose pit selection, as Blaney and Keselowski did for multiple inspection failures, uh, you don't get the last pits left at the end of after everybody chooses. NASCAR assigns those two cars a pit stall, and then everybody makes their picks. Blaney, that, that six having trouble is the best thing. That's clear in, clear out for him. Both of them are a lap down. Jamie, what about Brad? Well, he just saw his crew chief, Matt McCall, came off the pit box, and he talked to the Roush Yates engines people. And I asked him, do you have an engine issue? He said, I don't know what's going on, but something is wrong with Keselowski's car. Shame. It's down the straightaways. If, if Larry says he's not shifting, which he said he's shifting, all things look fine there. Up in here. She's, she's definitely sick under the hood. What about that 19 car of right? Martin Truex? He was able to run down Denny Hamlin in some of that lap traffic. He's been one of the fastest cars on the track here over the last five or six laps. Final lap of this stage. Big win for Kyle Busch. A lot of points here, a lot of playoff points. Ryan Priest just ahead, trying to stay on the lead lap as stage one comes to a close here. Kyle Busch looking for his first stage win of this season. And there's the green and white checkered flag. Kyle Busch.